How many books are in the New Testament? The New Testament consists of 27 canonical books, authored by various individuals over a span of approximately 50 to 100 years. These books encompass the life, teachings, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, as well as the early history and teachings of the Christian Church. The New Testament is divided into several genres, including the four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, the Acts of the Apostles, the Pauline Epistles, letters attributed to the Apostle Paul, the General Epistles, letters written by other Apostles and leaders, and the Apocalyptic Book of Revelation. Together, these writings provide a comprehensive narrative of the Christian faith, doctrine, and practice, serving as a foundational text for believers worldwide. What is the longest book in the Bible? The Book of Psalms holds the distinction of being the longest book in the Bible, comprising 150 individual psalms or hymns attributed primarily to King David and other ancient composers. These poetic compositions cover a wide range of themes, including praise, lament, thanksgiving, wisdom, prophecy, and royal coronation. The psalms are revered for their lyrical beauty, emotional depth, and spiritual richness, offering believers a source of comfort, inspiration, and expression in times of joy, sorrow, or uncertainty. Psalms has been cherished by worshipers throughout history as a timeless reservoir of prayer and praise, reflecting the diverse range of human experiences and emotions in relationship to God. Which biblical figure is known as the father of faith? Abraham, revered as the father of faith, occupies a central role in the religious traditions of Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. His story, chronicled in the book of Genesis, portrays him as a model of unwavering trust and obedience to God's promises. Abraham's journey of faith begins with his call to leave his homeland and journey to a land God promised to show him, despite facing numerous trials and uncertainties along the way. Despite his advanced age and the challenge of childlessness, Abraham believed in God's covenant promise of descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky. His faithfulness was epitomized by his willingness to sacrifice his son Isaac, in obedience to God's command, ultimately demonstrating his unwavering trust in God's providence and faithfulness. As a result, Abraham is celebrated as the patriarch of monotheism and the exemplar of faith for believers of all generations. What was the name of the river where Jesus was baptized? Jesus was baptized in the Jordan River, a significant waterway that holds profound symbolic importance in biblical narratives. The Jordan River serves as a border between the ancient lands of Israel and Jordan, and it features prominently in the Old and New Testaments. In the New Testament, the Jordan River becomes the setting for Jesus' baptism by John the Baptist, marking the beginning of his public ministry. This event symbolizes Jesus' identification with humanity, his anointing by the Holy Spirit, and his commissioning for his redemptive mission. The Jordan River continues to hold spiritual significance for Christians, who often participate in baptisms and pilgrimages to its waters as a symbol of spiritual rebirth and renewal. Who betrayed Jesus to the authorities for 30 pieces of silver? Judas Iscariot, one of Jesus' twelve disciples, infamously betrayed him to the religious authorities for 30 pieces of silver. This act of betrayal, recounted in the New Testament Gospels, is a pivotal moment in the Passion narrative, leading to Jesus' arrest, trial, and crucifixion. According to the Gospel accounts, Judas made a clandestine agreement with the chief priests and elders to hand Jesus over to them in exchange for payment. He identified Jesus with a kiss in the Garden of Gethsemane, thereby facilitating his arrest by Roman soldiers. Judas' betrayal serves as a cautionary tale of greed, treachery, and moral failure, contrasting with the loyalty and selflessness exhibited by Jesus and his other disciples. The consequences of Judas' betrayal highlight the profound moral and spiritual implications of betrayal and the complexities of human nature.